Hey there and welcome back. Uh, in this video I'm going to talk about the uh, two organizations uh, that are around this uh, RC aircraft uh, hobby industry. Uh, one is the AMA or the Academy of Model Aeronautics and you find them on the web at um, modelaircraft.org and uh, it's a community sponsored organization. Your membership in the organization helps uh, run it. Uh, has hundreds of thousands, uh, maybe even a million members by now. Uh, I'm not sure exactly, but it's way up there close to like a million members. And uh, they provide uh, liability insurance, uh, which is the most important thing, not only for you as an individual, but for clubs like the ones I fly at, which are uh, AMA uh, sponsored clubs so the f owner of the field that you're flying at has liability insurance and then you personally have liability insurance when you fly at that field as an AMA member and uh, part of the requirements for being an AMA member um, other than the annual fee uh, which you should always have in your airplane is an identification tag like that okay and it doesn't have to be the official AMA tag like I use. Uh, it can simply be your AMA number, your name, your address, a contact, cell phone, whatever you want. And that's it. It just needs to be something. You can actually write it with a Sharpie marker inside the airplane or on the outside of the airplane. But it should be permanent and easily gotten to. Um, uh, if the airplane crashes and and you can't find it, somebody finds it, they should be able to find this piece of paper inside and, because if you lost it, it's probably broken up anyways. And somebody can contact you and if you have an accident um, and you're going to claim an AMA coverage, having this in here is vitally important. The other organization is the FAA the Federal Aviation Administration, a government organization obviously, which controls uh, all airspace from the ground up. And uh, so they designate uh, that uh, modelers can fly at uh, between zero and 400 feet above the ground. Uh, however, in uh, January of uh, this year, 2016, they passed a new requirement that you have to register <clears throat> Any v anything that flies, doesn't matter whether it's a drone or an airplane or whatever, it's anything that flies that weighs more than a half a pound. This airplane weighs 28 ounces, so it's uh, more than uh, a pound and a half. It's almost two pounds. So it requires uh, the, you register with the um, FAA before you fly, and that that uh, FAA number uh, is in the vehicle. So what I do is I have an AMA number. I just write it on this piece of paper along with my uh, so both my FAA number and my AMA number are on the same piece of paper. It goes in the airplane. Um, uh, go to the uh, FAA.gov website and search for registration. <coughs> Maybe called drone registration. It doesn't matter that it's not a drone that you're flying. <clears throat> the definition of drone to the FAA is anything that flies. Um, so that's how the FAA defines it. So um, I strongly recommend that you um, uh, use the AMA. Um, by federal law, you should register with the FAA and get your number and put it in the airplane. <clears throat> so thank you for watching and stay tuned for additional videos.